in today's video, I'm talking about how it vexes a lot of people's spirit that you got, you know, male pastors that are leading the people astray and you have female pastors that are truly doing Hasatan's work. Let's talk about it. Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I've got several videos up on this channel since the, the you know the beginning of this channel about you know wicked pastors, about female pastors. I've got content on it, I've even got a Sabbath day teaching on it. And man, I don't really pay too much mind, you know, or give too much attention to what they have going on. You know, if I see it and I come across something and they're teaching some craziness, I'll push it out on my Facebook or post it out on the community uh, tab of YouTube. But other than that, I'm not going in depth because once you realize that they will face judgment and will get dealt with, you realize the simple fact that these female pastors and wicked male pastors, they have to exist. They have to go forth in the world of lawlessness. Therefore, just like Messiah returned to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he was always focused on the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So all of these, all of these lawless, you know, pastors teaching this damnable doctrine, Trinity, you know, rapture, all of this nonsense, this, this replacement theology, it must go forth. You got to think biblically, the Messiah went around to teach in these places because the lost sheep of the house of Israel were scattered to these places, to the four corners of the earth. Now I want you to look at this. In order for the righteous, in order for those in Hebrews chapter 11, you know, to be recognized as righteous, as holy, you know, they would have had to do something contrary to the rest contrary to the lawless, to the ones that didn't want to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments, and the precepts. Go read Hebrews chapter 11, okay? When you read Jeremiah 23, that thing starts off hard hit. This is the reason why all of your wicked pastors and female pastors, they're never gonna read to you Jeremiah 23. They're never going to read to you because it'll expose what they're doing. And it starts off by saying, woe to the pastor that scatters the sheep of my flock. You keep on reading down and it, it, it's saying, I will have to appoint shepherds to come behind these pastors that have done the scattering to bring the people back into the fold again. That's letting you know biblically, it's going to be some people out here uh, that, that, that lead folk astray and call themselves pastors. This when we see in, uh, you know, you know, when we're seeing these pastors get up and wear, uh, LG or wear, wear rainbow garments and all of that. Hey, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. For all of these female pastors, don't even worry about it. The most high y'all ain't letting nobody slide. When you go over to revelations chapter two, this is why you, they don't, this is why they don't read it. Female pastors don't read about revelation because it's the it's the judgments. And here, this is what people they're trying to justify their actions 
and getting agreements of people that don't have understanding as if they're not going to have to see the Most High Yah, see Messiah, see Hamashiach. They're going to have to see him. You're going to have to see him. The Most High Yah tells us that he's given his son and will be at an appointed time that the son, Messiah, Hamashiach, Yahshua, will judge the world. Okay? When you look at Revelations chapter 2, a lot of these, well, I want you to understand about Jezebel. When you start at about verse 17 and go on down, you're going to read about the church getting called out for allowing Jezebel to get up in there and, and to lead people astray. These folk going to have to see Hamashiach. They going to have to see him. Hamashiach is going to run that fade righteously. People talking about run my run that fade. Um, they gonna they gonna Hamashiach is, is I'm, they gonna they Hamashiach gonna see about. It, okay. This is why you see so much Jezebel behavior and Jezebel culture where you have female pastors. This is why you don't see modest and meek women under Jezebel. This is why because they don't teach against it. You think Jezebel gonna teach against herself? Okay, when you read Revelations chapter 2, verse 20, it says, but I have this against you, that you tolerate that woman Jezebel that calls herself a prophetess. Jezebel wasn't even a prophetess. She didn't have the gift of prophecy, of prophesying, but she called herself one. That's the deception. When you see all these women online, uh, to, uh, you know, God told me to tell you all of this. Man, look, they gonna have to see Hamashiach. I ain't worried about them. They gonna have to Hamashiach. They gonna hey, they gonna have to, Hamashiach gonna pull up on them and they gonna they gonna have to answer. Here's the thing: a lot of these wicked male pastors and female pastors, man, they've been given the opportunity to repent, but. The word says Jezebel herself was given an opportunity to repent, but she repented not. She changed, she doubled down. And these folk think they ain't gonna have to see Hamashiach? Come on, come on. I don't even worry about it. The women that's following these doggone women, don't even worry about them. I don't care about them. You sitting up following Creflo Dollar, I'm not worried about you. The Most High Yah is not dealing with you. And if he was dealing with you, you know, he would allow you to see the unrighteousness in these people that divine for money. They judge for reward. The book says they teach for hire. All of these uh, prosperity ministers and pastors and bishops and apostles, a lot of them don't have no gift. They don't have no gift. Their only ability is hustle. That's their only gift is a hustle, to hustle you. I'm telling you, ain't nobody some of these people think that they're going to be able to slip through the cracks, slip slip out the back door and not have to see Hamashiach. They're going to have to see him. They're going to have to see him. And a telltale sign, I'm going to tell you how to crack the case wide open with these female pastors. See, when you know their tactics and where they go to to justify themselves, it's going to expose them. You can read about Deborah being a prophetess, being a pastor, a preacher, and a prophetess don't have none of the same etymology, none of the same definitions. That goes to show you how uh, ignorant they are. First thing they do, well, Deborah was a prophetess and a leader. Man, no, no, no. You look at the definition of prophecy, it's not preaching. It's not teaching. No, it's predicting. That's what it is. It's predicting. It's a gift from the Most High to be able to predict about future things to come. And once you're done predicting, you shut the heck up because if you don't, you're going to start making up stuff like a lot of them do. I'm telling you, man, don't even worry about it. These folk going to have to see Hamashiach and A is going to be okay. We all going to have to see Hamashiach. So I tell you, when I say I'm not posting long form content you ain't gonna see me doing no hour long uh video too long a two hour long sabbath day on them i'm gonna give you jeremiah 23 revelations chapter 2 
And you you can read for yourself. They've been they was doing abominations all in the temple. Stuff that he hate. Messiah was some of these these wicked lawless pastors. They always gonna be buying and selling, trying to sell books and all this stuff in the church. And Messiah went up in there and whipped them. You can read about that. But in order for you know Jeremiah twenty three to be fulfilled, it's gonna take some lawless pastors for a shepherd to come behind and teach right things behind the brokenness and the, the, the doggone uh, scriptures that they didn't twist it and warped to their own destruction. You got to understand, man, you know, some people don't have an anointing. Some people will, some of these pastors will never be shepherds. You know, some of these Jezebels, they, 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 they will never repent and be able to walk in their gifts. It said Jezebel was given opportunity to repent, but she repented not. But that sounds pretty rebellious, doesn't it? So that goes to show you why I'm not worried and focused on what they do and they lawlessness. I see it, I'll post little clips and, and, and focus you on the word, but out all that other stuff, man, I'm not worried about it. They gonna get dealt with. They gonna have to see a Mashiach. Posted in y'all ministries, kicking a gun barrel straight. Wow.